Okay, so now let's continue. So we'll see how to uh, do the encryption and decryption using RSA. So let's say in this example, what I'm going to show you is input uh, an ASCII value, a plain text integer, encrypt it using a public key and the n value, and then decrypt it using the private key. Okay, so that's what I'm going to show. Encrypt an ASCII integer value using the public key and decrypt the ciphertext value using the private key and extract the ASCII value back. All right, so uh, wrap up the ASCII value that you got as an integer as a big integer. Okay, and um, let me see. And uh, then um, you want to do this exponentiation, the modular exponentiation, right? So the encryption is the plain text value modular exponentiation with respect to the public key. So and mod that n, right? So if you remember what we saw, uh, let's see, I think it was in this. So it is the plain text rise to the encryption key, in this case the public key, mod n, right? So that's what we are doing here. The plain text is a big integer, mod uh, rise to, because uh, this mod function takes two arguments, rise to the public key, mod the n value. So this is how you pass the arguments. So that gets you the ciphertext, okay? and you can print the ciphertext. And then what you do is the cipher text. Uh, the cipher text uh, you want to decrypt, right? So how do you decrypt it? Um, the cipher text rise to the decryption key. In this case, a private key mod n. So what you do is the cipher text dot mod power again, and you pass the private key and your n value, and that should get you the plain text. Okay, and you can print its value. It should match with what you passed as the input. Okay, so let's continue with our example. So let's use one of the two public-private keys that we generated. So first, let me compile my Java code, and uh, my class name is same as this RSA encryption decryption. So it is Java RSA encryption decryption. So now we have to pass how many arguments in this example? Uh, four arguments, right? So the first is the public key, which let's say I'm using the first one. So 37 is my public key. And then I want to pass uh, the private key, which is this long in big integer. What you can do is you can right click on this and click on edit mark that lets you to really copy whatever it is and then again go and say edit copy and you could think by doing edit paste put on that okay and then you want to put the n value which is this right so let's go again edit cop mark can mark this enter that really copies and then you paste and paste it and then you want to put your ASCII value let's say let's try this 127 that we had okay that's your ASCII value so that really does this encryption get to the cipher text like what we saw and then just the decryption and with this private key and prints back the plain text. Okay. Okay, let's stop with this.